Okay, so exponential functions, just looking at them really quick at the start. Um, I'm just going to quickly graph these three just to show this. Some of you may have seen this before. This graph here, 2 to the x, is kind of what we use as our base graph. Um, really what I'm going to be looking for for these graphs is just two points and the general shape. Um, a lot of people will want three, but for this one, for what I'm looking for, two is just fine. So, whoops, that should be... I don't know why the scales are ones going up and then every other going across, but that's okay. Um, so we've got our two points at zero. Anything to the exponent zero is just one. And then two to the one is two. Or so. And then we're going to have something like that. Okay. Um, if we were doing the five there, we're still going to have a point there. And then 5 to the 1, just goes right there. So when we graph this one, it's going to be something like that. Ooh. And then finally, um, we'll go in what, blue and purple, I guess. So that's this one here. And there's a little raccoon up in the corner there just for, uh, just for fun. This one, um, maybe right there, right there. And this one actually goes backwards. So if we went to negative one, we'd flip that fraction and we'd be here. So this graph, something like that. All right, so there's your three kind of base graphs. If it's a fraction, it's going the other way. Um, if the number's larger, it's on the inside, it's going up quicker. The smaller the number towards one, it's going to go down or up slower. All right. So just the base graph. And again, if we're thinking about this, we can always think of just um, think about f of x equals 2 to the x. Okay. So for this, our domain is going to be all real numbers. So we're going to have negative infinity to positive infinity. Our range is going to be um, not including zero because we have an asymptote to positive infinity. So the horizontal asymptote in this case is y equals zero. And then we, we know that it's a line that it never touches and we have a y-intercept of y equals one. Okay. The general form is this, our a value still in front Everything that's in the exponent is the horizontal here, and our c value is at the end. Okay, so if a or sorry, if b is bigger than one, this is a growth graph. Okay, the graph is going to be going up like this. So this is one, and then one, and that point would be b. Okay, um, it's increasing because it's going up to the right. The greater the value of b, the faster it will increase or grow. Okay. If b is between 0 and 1, it's a decay. Okay, it's decreasing because it's going down to the right. The smaller the b value, the faster it will decay. All right. Um, how do we tell the three base graphs given this? So a linear function is a straight line. Oh, straight has an R in it. There's a straight line. A quadratic is a parabola. And I don't know, an exponential. So exponential looks like this. It actually looks almost like half of a parabola. So a lot of the times you will have to extend those out if you're not sure. Or if a graph was given something like this, and I only gave you maybe that part of the graph, you might say that it's either exponential or quadratic because you're not quite sure given on what you have. Um, in a table of values, a linear, the first differences are always equal. A quadratic, the second differences are equal. Oh.
And in exponential, we're actually looking at for a common ratio between the y values. Because they should be increasing by some multiple each time. So like 2 to the 3 has gone up 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 um, of y values. And then equations, um, x has the exponent 1. x has exponent 2. And x is the, we'll go away, exponent. All right, so looking at that, that just gives us kind of the three graphs that we've done that aren't um, like cubics and stuff like that. All right, so what type of graph is each of these? So what we have to look at, we always wanna check the first differences. And now I'm drawing the lines from top to bottom just because that's how we start, but we should always be subtracting up. Okay, so 40 minus 29 is 11 is 9, 7, 5, and 3. I've been subtracting up the page. So my first differences there are not equal, so it's not linear. My second differences here are equal, so therefore this is quadratic. Okay. Now if we're moving up the page for B, pretty easy to see that those first differences aren't the same. So 253 minus 61, and I just check, and we'll go with that. So 263, or 2 is 192, and then 61 minus 13 is 48, 13 minus 1 is 12, Okay, now if I check the second differences, you should notice that they're also going to be different. 192 minus 48 is 144. 48 minus 12 is 36. So it's not quadratic, it's not linear. So what we need to do is then actually I'm going to divide up. So we always want to divide up. Okay, we want to see what they are. So 253 divided by 61 is 4.14, 61 divided by 13, 4.7, 13 divided by 1 is 13. So none of these are equal, so therefore these are none of our graphs. Okay, it's none of the graphs that we're actually dealing with. All right, so we're going to now look at our next one. So again, check our first and second differences. So 0 0.125 minus 0.5 negative 0 0.375, negative 1.5, negative, what do we got here? Negative 6, um, negative 24. It doesn't really matter because I can tell you that those two are not going to be the same either. Um, negative 0.375 minus 1.5, that's negative. This is 1.2, or sorry, 125. And this is gonna be, what, 3.5? Um, so that's 3.5, so those aren't the same. So now again, and I'm gonna just go to a different color, we're gonna divide up here. So 0 0.125 divided by 0 0.5, that's gonna give me 0 0.25. And then 0.5, divided by 2, 0 0.25. So it's already showing a pattern. It's going to be 0 0.25 again, and so on. 
So therefore, this is exponential. Okay, last one. Um, I mean, this should be obvious what it's going to be, but we'll go through it. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Therefore, this is linear. All right, last thing, just looking at the graphs. Um, I would say this is exponential, quadratic. This is exponential. It's just a different way of looking at it. We flipped the graph down, so we've made a negative A value there. This is linear. This is a decay. It's exponential still. And this is exponential. Okay, so this one, oops, and this one are growth. This one's a decay. And this one we've actually flipped upside down by making.